Mantor Ministries presents the Mantor Guy Podcast. We may talk about football. We could mention bacon. We might reference Rocky movies. We'll probably discuss the Mantor conferences, but we'll definitely talk about how to grow in our walk with God. Here's your host, the Mantor Guy, Jamie Holden. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mantor Guy Podcast. I'm Jamie Holden, and today we are excited to air our second annual Thanksgiving episode of the Mantor Guy Podcast. <laughs> well, as we enter the holiday season, guys, I didn't want to hop right into the hustle and bustle of Christmas without taking some time to give thanks for the many blessings in my life. And today I wanted to share a list with you of the 10 things I am thankful for this year. We're also going to be looking at responses we received on social media to different Thanksgiving questions we asked, so let's get started, guys. <laughs> well, First Chronicles 16.34 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. And it's important as God's men to make sure that we give thanks to God. And Thanksgiving is a great time to do this. So here is the Mantor Guy's top 10 list of things I'm thankful for this year. <laughs> All right, number 10. I am thankful for jet skis. <laughs> All right, now, full disclosure, I do not own a jet ski. They are way too expensive. But I love right, reading about them. I love watching videos about them. And periodically, you know, I get a chance to go and ride one. And because of my disability, I can't physically do many outdoor activities. But this is one adrenaline-filled, thrilling activity I can enjoy, and I am thankful that I get a chance to do it once in a while. I never feel as alive and free as I do on a jet ski, so for this Thanksgiving number 10, I am thankful for jet skis. <laughs> number 9, I am thankful for Covenant Eyes. Now, I know we do a lot of advertising for Covenant Eyes here, and this is not a commercial. I am genuinely thankful for the protection that it brings me in an internet-driven world and for the accountability it provides to me with the accountability feature it offers. I know I'm safe from the enemy's attack on me and my ministry because of this protection, and I'm grateful for the protection it gives my family members. I added my 69-year-old dad, I added my sister, and it gives us protection from accidentally seeing stuff that we don't want to see. You know, once in a while things just pop up with pop-ups and stuff like that. You're not looking for anything, it just pops up. Instead of being attacked and being hit with it, Covenant Eyes keeps you safe. You don't even have to worry about it. So I'm thankful for that protection, for the help it gives me, keeping my mind pure, my eyes pure, the protection it gives to me and my ministry. I'm really grateful for Covenant Eyes. Number eight, I am thankful for the amazing men that God has placed into my life as mentors. I really value their input, the instruction they, as they invest in my life and my ministry. You know, I appreciate their frankness to tell me the truth, you know, even when I don't always want to hear it. Um, they love me while I struggle to hear the words they say. I value it so much, so thank you. I'm also thankful for so many of my brothers in Christ who daily are living a life that gives me an example to follow and to emulate in my life. Your example of godliness means the world to me. And though there are too many men to mention here individually, I'll do that privately. But no, I value your example and thank God for each of you as you live the life worthy of the calling and set an example for me and so many other men to follow. Thank you. <laughs> Here's this week's Facebook feedback. Well, but before we move on to number seven on my list, I asked on Facebook this question. Do you eat your Thanksgiving feast for lunch or for dinner? Our man tour guy, not fake news results. Well, 56% of people said they eat it for lunch, 44% for dinner, and you know, there were quite a few commented that they do both or they eat it all day long. So... A lot of people eating food all day long, but the 56%, the majority of our poll, said they do it for lunch. <laughs> all right, let's get back to my list here at number seven. <laughs> number seven, I am thankful for fantasy football. All right, I know this sounds really silly. It's a silly thing to be thankful for, but, you know, I really enjoy it. It gives me a way to interact with my friends, you know, to talk a little bit of smack. It helps me take interest in football games I never would watch otherwise. Um, because truth be told, I'm a very, very, very competitive person, and I love trying to build the best team possible to win. It's a fun hobby I do with a great group of guys, and I really enjoy it. So, number seven, I'm thankful 
for fantasy football. <laughs> Number six. I'm thankful for the best sister a man could ever ask for. My big sister, Destin, is not just a sibling. She's my closest friend. I never would have known to make it through the past 20 years of ups and downs and valleys and mountains that we face in our lives. I am truly blessed to have her as a sister and a partner in crime. Well, okay, not partner in crime, but I mean ministry. Um, you know, I love her. She's a great sister. She's my closest friend, and I just could not do what I do without her. So I'm very thankful for Odessa. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we have reached the halfway point of the list already. What are my top five things that I'm thankful for this year? Well, you can find out after the short break. But before we take the break, let's look at an online poll that we started on Facebook. Another poll. This is groundbreaking, not fake news results here, guys. We asked the following question. What type of filling or stuffing do you prefer at Thanksgiving? The kind that's already inside the turkey or that you make in a separate casserole dish? And the winner is coming up after the break, guys. Yep. You're listening to the Mantor Guy Podcast. <laughs> The 2019 Mantor season is almost here, and this year we're going to come together to learn how, through God, we are all invincible. Guys, do not miss your local Mantor conference. We're going to have powerful main session messages. We're going to have three new relevant workshop topics geared to help you conquer the struggles that so many men face. So put your local 2000 Invincible Mantor on your calendar. Remember, through God, you are invincible. You're listening to the favorite podcast at Santa's Workshop, the Mantor Guy Podcast. Technology is amazing. So are your kids. How your amazing kids use amazing technology may amaze you. It can teach them another language, help them with their homework, show them the world, encourage creativity, and connect them with others. And that's good. But it can also be harmful. Did you know about 90% of children age 16 have seen pornography online, most while doing their homework? Even at young ages, porn is the norm. It's not a matter of if they see porn, but when. Do you know how kids use technology today? How do you talk to them about online pornography? How do you start the conversation? These questions are answered in a free, easy, practical parenting guide. Parenting the Internet Generation from Covenant Eyes equips parents with the tools they need to be observant, engaged, and informed about their child's technology use. It will teach you what to do if your child sees a questionable commercial or advertisement, where to turn after they see pornography, and how to create a trusting environment where it's safe to talk about any topic. Help your kids build healthy habits online. Download Parenting the Internet Generation today. Sign up for Covenant Eyes using the code MANTOR at checkout and receive one month of free service. Visit CovenantEyes.com today to sign up. And remember, one month of free service when you use the code MANTOR. That's M-A-N-T-O-U-R. Listen to the Mantor Guy podcast on the go via Apple Podcast and Google Play. Thanks. Hey guys, Mantor Guy Jamie Holden here. Are you looking for a speaker at your church or for your men's breakfast or your next men's event, men's retreat, or men's conference? Well, why not bring me in to speak? God has been moving among men as I've been sharing an encouraging word of freedom and victory. We're seeing lives change, men being saved, people being set free. And guys, chains are being broken. So if your church has hurting men and women, contact me to come share this encouraging word of hope and victory to help you grow in your walk with God. Don't forget to visit iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Thanks. New from Mantor Ministries, Invincible, scaling the mountains that keep us from victory. You stay at this mountain too long. These words spoken by God to the nation of Israel thousands of years ago still ring true for God's men today. It's not God's will for his sons to stay stagnant in their walk with God, unable to conquer the mountains that keep them trapped in their old way of life. He wants you to climb these mountains and conquer them. You can learn how in Mantor Ministries' new book, Invincible, Scaling the Mountains That Keep Us from Victory, available today by visiting mantorministries.com. You can climb your mountains. You can claim victory. 
In Christ, you are invincible. Order your copy today at MantorMinistries.com. Welcome back to the Mantor Guy Podcast. All right, guys, welcome back to this special Thanksgiving episode of the Mantor Guy Podcast. We kind of left you at a cliffhanger before the break. And we don't want to leave you in suspense any longer. In our Not Fake News poll, we asked, what type of filling or stuffing do you prefer for Thanksgiving? Do you prefer it to be made inside of the turkey or made in a separate, ca separate casserole dish? And the winner was, surprisingly, a tie. Exactly 50% said they like their filling inside the bird, and 50% said they like it inside a casserole dish. So not quite sure what that poll tells us, but it was an even split, 50% each. So there you go, guys. Here's this week's Facebook feedback. One other question we asked on social media is, other than eating the food, what is your favorite thing to do or to watch on Thanksgiving? We got some really good replies here on Facebook and social media. Brian Owen said he likes to spend time with family and remember times that have passed. Terry Rising says they always watch Scrooge the, Scrooge the Musical. Um, Angela Kuhn says she plays games with the family. Roland Brubaker says it's family first, and then they watch Nightmare Before Christmas because it's between Halloween and Christmas. Kind of falls in between there. Um, Bobby Wanamaker and Dwayne Goodling both said they like to watch football. Um, we got a couple people here saying they play games. Um, Greg Nass goes on a morning mountain biking ride with a huge group of friends. Wayne Schaefer said he plays board games with the family. Um, Dwayne Danielson says they go on the table and they share what each person's been thankful for and he enjoys that every year. So as you see, everybody has very different traditions at Thanksgiving. But it's always a fun time with family and good food and activities. Um, this year, you know, I'm looking forward to a lot about Thanksgiving. There's some great football games coming on. Um, Creed 2 comes out on Thanksgiving. I'm really trying to talk to in to go in and see that on Thanksgiving or somewhere around there. I'm really looking forward to that. But whatever your traditions are, you know, do it with your family. Have a great time and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the Mantor Guy's top 10 things that I'm thankful for this year. <laughs> We're here at number five. I am grateful that God allowed me to travel and speak almost every weekend in 2018. Now, I know that sounds like a silly thing to be thankful for. I mean, honestly, it's my job. But being honest with you, it takes a lot of work. It's really hard sometimes getting churches to bring you in. And doing the actual traveling week after week, especially with the disability God has me dealing with, it's a lot of work, and it's very tiring on my physical body. Um, this is the first year that I was booked solid every weekend, and I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to speak and share from my heart and to see people coming to the altar to be saved, being set free to see bondages broken. Um, I'm hoping to have the same opportunity in 2019. I don't want this to be a commercial, but you know, if you are interested in having me come share, contact me as soon as possible. We're starting to book for 2019. But at number five, I'm just thankful for the many opportunities I had this year to share the word of God to give my heart and to see so many people be saved and set free. It was a really great year of ministry. <laughs> number four. I am so thankful to be able to partner in ministry with some amazing men and women. God has surrounded my ministry with such amazing people um, with hearts to serve God. I'm thankful to Odessa. I want to say thank you to Odessa and to our board of directors, to Rowan and Angela Kuhn and Lori and Joey Cohen there on our board of directors. Thank you for dreaming with us, for backing us, supporting the work God has called us to do. Guys, honestly, our board takes better care of Odessa now than we do of ourselves. And they give us so much wisdom and guidance. I am so grateful for each of them. And I also want to say thank you to all the host churches and the speakers who give up their Saturdays to help minister to God's men, to the worship teams who give up their Saturdays to help lead worship with the mentors. Our mentor movement couldn't have happened without every one of you. And this year, I just want you to know I value every one of you, and I'm so thankful for each one of you. <laughs> All right, guys, before we head into number three in your list, it's time for... The Mantor Lead Pipe, right in an ink NFL pick. All right, guys, we have three NFL games on Thanksgiving Day. This is our Thanksgiving Day NFL picks. 
Starting off here, we will start with game one. It's the Bears versus the Lions. Oh my. I'm going to go with the Bears in this game. Um, I was real tempted to take the Lions in the home field. Uh, but, you know, I just, the Bears' defense is too solid. They're too good. The Lions are not what anybody thought they were going to be this year. So I'm going with the Bears in that game. And then we have the Redskins versus the Cowboys. A classic, classic Thanksgiving rivalry. It's going to be an interesting game to watch. This, guys, is such a painful pick. This is the most painful pick I made all year because I'm going to have to say all oh, this hurts. The Cowboys are going to beat the Redskins. You know I don't like the Cowboys. You know I'm not a Cowgirl fan here, but I have to put it on the line and say the Cowboys will win this game. Oh, that hurt. And then the third game, we have the Falcons versus the Saints. You can write it in ink. The Saints are going to win this game in a high-scoring game. Um, two high-powered offenses, but the Falcons do not have any kind of a defense. Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas have been rolling over everybody they played this year. I am picking the Saints in a blowout. So that is our Thanksgiving Day football game. Write it in ink pick. You can put the Saints in there. Write it in ink. They will win this game. So in conclusion here, real quick, I picked the Bears to beat the Lions. I had to pick the Cowboys to beat the Redskins. Hear a disgust in my voice. And I'm going with the Saints over the Falcons. You can write it in ink, guys. All right, guys, let's get back to the list here. The Manta guys, most thankful things this year. We're going to get number three in the list. I am thankful for the churches, for the men's ministries, and for the individuals who are monthly financial supporters of this ministry that God has called me to do. Their financial support allows me to focus 100% on reaching men inside and outside of the church with the gospel. It lets us hold the mentor conferences, helps us produce the books and the resources. We can reach men inside of prisons. It even allows us to do this podcast. And I appreciate these people who have shown their belief in this ministry and the work we do by investing their hard-earned money into this ministry. Thank you so much. You have no idea what it means to me. Shameless plug time. If you want to partner with me in the work God's given me to do with AG US Missions, you can go to giving.ag.org. That's giving.ag.org and give using my account number 281396. That's 281396. I um, mean, you can also give online at mentorministries.com. All your gifts are tax deductible and your support is extremely appreciated. Enough with the shameless plug, but I really am thankful for every one of the people, the churches, the individuals who help us do the work we do. Honestly, we could not do it without you. We are so grateful to every one of you, so thank you. <laughs> All right, number two. This year, I was blessed to receive a gift from a church's missions board, and this gift was a real life changer for me. I am so thankful for the mobility scooter that this church gave to me and to my ministry. You know, I don't like to talk a lot about my severe disability. I don't like to dwell on it. I don't talk often about it, about the severity of my disability or how hard it is to do what God has called me to do. But it is a daily fact I live with. And usually, I am unable to walk the day after a mentor conference. Till we get done to mentor the next day, my foot is swollen. I can't walk. I'm filled and ravaged with pain. I was rarely able to do anything the day after a core. And even in the rest of my life, I was rarely able to go shopping, um, to go to any kind of event, concert, anything like that. I couldn't basically do anything. You know, most of my life, my time was spent sitting in a car waiting while destined to things that needed to be done. And life was passing me by, but now I have the ability to do things again. You know, I've been able to use a scooter for not only just mentors, but I took it to the boardwalk at the beach. I've been able to go into a mall and pick my own clothing, which is really cool. I've been able to go to events where I couldn't go before because of the size of the venue. Uh, after we did the New York Man Tour in the fall, which was the first man tour we used a mobility scooter at, the next day I didn't have the severe pain I usually have after a man tour. You know, this scooter has been a life changer for me, and I am so grateful to God for providing it. It's been life changing. It has helped me so much, and I really am thankful. So that is my number two thing is my new mobility scooter. All right, guys, it's time for the number one thing that the mentor guy is thankful for this year. 
I am grateful that I get to serve a God who is in the healing business, especially the healing of our spiritual issues, you know, the wounds, the traumas, and the emotional issues we all have in our lives. For instance, you know, I mentioned in number two how much my new scooter has helped me. However, guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When it was first suggested to me, I completely freaked out. I couldn't handle it. I was really upset about the thought of having to use this nobility scooter. And you're probably asking, well, Jamie, why? Well, the answer is because I was carrying around a lot of emotional baggage and scars inside of my heart that I was still struggling with in my life. And I had to fight the fears that this meant I would be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I had to face painful memories of words spoken over me by doctors, my father, and others about how I was just going to become crippled and unable to do anything and the effect it was going to have. And to me, it was just like these words spoken over me, it was coming to life and I had to deal with it. And the scooter was a highly charged emotional issue for me. But I serve a healing God and he used this to help me work through these issues and to overcome them. And now I love the scooter. I fly over the place in it. You know, I probably flat go too fast on it. You know, God... It's all because of God's healing power. And I just want to encourage you, if you're facing any kind of an emotional wound or scar in your life or something that you just can't seem to overcome, let me tell you, my God can do that same healing inside of you that he did inside of me. Guys, that's basically the message of our new book, Invincible, Scaling Up Mountains to Keep Us from Victory. God can heal your heart. He can help you climb your mountains. Guys, he's done it for me. And he will do it for you. So I am thankful this year at number one on my list to serve a healing God. The Mentor Guy's final thought. Guys, I am so excited for Christmas. I am a big Christmas guy. I love decorating inside, outside. I decorate my car. It's my favorite time of the year. But before we go full stream ahead with Christmas... I felt it was important to have this special Thanksgiving episode. This is actually year two that we're doing a special Thanksgiving episode. Now, I'm not saying no Christmas. We ought to be one of those people who are like always saying no Christmas after Thanksgiving or like, you know, the Facebook post where a turkey said to Santa, get out of here, fat so it's not your term. I love Christmas and I've been watching Christmas movies way before Thanksgiving and listening to Elvis sing the Christmas classics for a while now. However, I truly believe we need to take time to celebrate Thanksgiving and to show our appreciation to God and the people that he's placed in our lives. And, you know, that's why I shared my top 10 list with you. And, you know, I encourage you, make a top 10 list of your own. Express your gratification and thankfulness for the many blessings that you have in your life. And even if you're in a really hard time or you're in one of life's toughest circumstances, you have things that you can be thankful for. We all have things that we can be thankful for. So I encourage you, make your own top 10 list. Share it with your family, with your friends. Maybe make a Facebook post saying, this is the 10 things I'm thankful for this year. Express your thankfulness to God and for others and have a thankful heart this Thanksgiving season. <laughs> well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us here today. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, Don't forget to check out all the books and the t-shirts available at mentorministries.com. Um, you know, these would make great gifts to give this Christmas, so check them out today. Head over to TheMantorMistress.com and hit the online store button. You can see all the books, the different t-shirts. We even have some tank tops there. Um, you can order. And guys, I'm going to leave you with the same words we ended last year's episode with. One of my favorite Thanksgiving quotes is from Mr. Carlson, the big guy from WKRP in Cincinnati, when he said, With God as my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. We'll see you next time on the Mantor Guy Podcast. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Be sure to visit MantorMinistries.com to learn more about our books, men's ministry resources, and our Mantor Conferences. Hey, guys. Jamie Holden here, and I just want to tell you that God is moving in our prison systems. And Mantor Ministries, well, we're on the front lines and you can help. We are giving inmates our books and resources, and guys, the testimonies we're receiving back have been amazing. You know, one person reported that they had 30 men do it, gathering, and they were 25 of them were delivered and set free from anger. Another shows how the men are weekly working together 
through our books and how men are growing spiritually. They're starting to have devotions and have prayer time and Bible reading in their individual lives, and they're growing. Guys, I could go on and on. Chains of bondage are being broken among our inmates. You can help us reach even more hurting men inside our prison systems when you become a monthly financial partner with Mantor Ministries. You can become a partner with us by going to mantorministries.com slash partner and clicking on the Give Online button. Guys, together we can continue reaching men in our correctional institutions with the life-changing truth of the gospel. One more thing before I wrap up this week, guys. You need to head to CovenantEyes.com and sign up today to protect you and your loved ones from the many traps awaiting you on the internet. You know, I am a Covenant Eyes user. I just signed my 69-year-old father up and put Covenant Eyes on his phone and his laptop. I believe in it. It's an amazing tool. It helps you stay pure online. Guys, I encourage you to try it today. If you use the code MANTOR, you get 30 free days. That's 30 free days. What do you have to lose? So head to CovenantEyes.com. Try it today. Like I said, what do you have to lose, guys? The Mantor Guy Podcast, helping men grow in their walk with God.